Hello, everybody. It's Diane Evans with StampinWithDiane.com. I'm an independent Canadian Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the interior of British Columbia. So if this is one of your first times that you've either joined me through my Facebook group or if you have joined me through um, my YouTube, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. Um, one other thing that I'd really like to... Um, I just... I'm, I'm thinking that something's showing up on my screen, but it... I, maybe it's not for you guys. So today is, how did they do that? Technique Tuesday. Uh, I have to say, this is one of um, one of my new episodes that I do. I started this in May um, with uh, um, a suggestion from a very good friend of mine. And I, I have to say, I'm honestly enjoying this because I'm going back to the old, old techniques to begin with. There's lots of great techniques out there right now, but at this point, um, there's so many oldies but goldies and trust me this one's a fun one this one's a messy one but it, it's lots and lots of fun so um one thing um for this technique i will be downloading it in the file section on my group you there is a link below the video here um that it's um stamping with diane um stampers group and it is through that group that you basically will be able to download the file for this so let's put this over here and let's get going on this. All right. So, of course, I want to first of all go back in. It's celebration time. Remember, if you live in Canada, don't have a demonstrator, I'd love to be your demonstrator. But if you do live in Canada and you spend $60, you can get an item, a level one item for free. And if you go up to $120 or in any increments of $60, you get to earn product for free. And there's some so many adorable things in here. Um, and today we're going to play again with the hippos. Um, I actually, this will only be my second card that I've actually done with the hippos, but this one's going to be fun. I'm going to use the technique with it. I'm going to show you something else that's in the, um, the celebration catalog. And let me just bring you to that page. And that's on page 10. Have you seen this, um, this paper? And what it is, is it's a paper that has gold and um, gold stripes and polka dots and also silver stripes and polka dots. And I'm actually going to show you how it, this technique is also going to work with this paper. Whether we make a card with it, I'm not too sure. And look at, I've already started with dirty hands, but honestly, this is such a fun technique. Now, I also wanted to use this, but it looks like, you know what? I think I can use this. I'm going to bring it in, and we're going to see if we can use that stamp set as well. Why not, right? We've got it. We might as well try to use it. So we'll see. We'll see. No promises yet. All right. So, but this is a level two. This is a level one. And each one of these hippos, the stamp set is a level one, and the dies are a level one. So let's get started. So I don't know if you're in this this studio right now. Honestly, you could you could tell what technique I'm doing. I am doing yes, I'm bringing it back. I am doing the shaving cream technique. This is a very messy technique. It's a uh, um, but it's fun. It's messy. It's fun, but it's also clean at the same time because shaving cream is 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 clean, right now. I just got cheap dollar store um, shaving cream. Honestly, if the smell of shaving cream bothers you, because these are something that you're going to have to leave out, I wouldn't go for your cheap dollar store stuff. But, you know, really, um, I don't know what ladies shaving cream works like. But sometimes the dollar store stuff works great. I mean, until you come to bleaching or something like that, then you've got to get good bleach. I recommend and I highly, highly recommend just um, some kind of gloves. Um, these are my El Cheapo crafting gloves because I put them on and I, I mean, I go through so many of them, right? But anyways, all right. So, um, but you get some pretty unique backgrounds out of this. And you could also use your backgrounds for an awful lot of different things. You are also going to need re-inkers. Re-inkers are going to be, oh, that's why that didn't work. Oh, I'm going, why did that not work? Anyways, I know now why it, did, it didn't work because I was using the wrong color. 
So what you want to do is you want to take a, a shallow um, dish. I, I thought I had other, um, and I'm going to do it. I'm going to use it with these, um, these paper plates. I had them in the cupboard and I'm just going to go ahead and use them. You're going to need some paper towel. You're going to need some toothpicks or some mini skewers. Um, another thing that you are going to need is going to be something to rub it off with. And these, these um, spatulas that we have in the catalog are going to work just great. Now, the one thing that's really fun with this is that you get to kind of experiment with different types of um, um, colors that you want to use. So I'm just going to take my and shake it up pretty good. And I think I'm going to go, I'm, I'm thinking that I want to do a card that's Bermuda Bay. Um, I, I want to do a card that's Bermuda Bay, maybe, oops, I'm going to take the lid off. That does help. So I'm just going to layer some of that on there. And then we'll just put that off to the side. And then... What you're going to do is then take re-inkers. Re-inkers are amazing um, tools that you can use. Um, I'm, I'm going to give you a hint. The best ones that come out are your first ones. Um, so I've got some Bermuda Bay. I'm going to go with polished pink. I'm really into the pink um, hippos. And let's see. I could use Coastal Cabana. I could use... You could use any color combination that you want. Wait till I show you some color combinations. There's some gorgeous ones that I tried. I did do a little bit of experimenting with it. Like I say, my studio smells like shaving cream. So lots of fun. So I'm going to put some petal pink in there. Have you seen all the techniques that you can do with your reinkers? Amazing stuff. Not only should you always get a re-anchor but you should all when you get a stamp pad but you should always just get them for lots of fun now doesn't that look kind of like looks like whipped cream on a anyways i'm just going to take this and i'm just running this through like this really like that polished pink in there Let's put a bit more polished pink over here. Like I say, lots of fun. And like I say, I like the colors I like the best or the cards I like the best are the ones that are done first. But let's see, how, and you can get so many out of here now. I went and I cut some paper. I think I probably cut it four by five and a quarter because you can use this, like I say, for different backgrounds and that sort of stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead, put this, smoosh it down. And really a bigger plate would be better, but you tend to use more shaving cream and you really don't need that much shaving cream. Whoops, look at that. So just putting that in there like that. And then all I'm going to do is I'm coming with this. Let's bring that spatula in. And you know what? This is what I meant to do. So I'm just going to come in. We'll kind of protect our back. I always feel like I'm doing some sort of a science project when I do something like this. All right. Now, you could rub off this way or you could rub off going this way. I'm going to rub off going with the green. Um, let's try to get the most of this off. You see why you definitely want to have rubber gloves on. And then, so the whipping cream, or the whipping cream, <laughs> shaving cream comes off, but the ink sticks to where that is. So let's just go and wipe this off. That got a little muddy there. I probably would have wanted to. There we go. So 
So that is using Bermuda Bay and it's going to dry just a little bit. That's using Bermuda Bay and um, polished pink. And then take a look at this. I am actually going to go in and I'm going to take one of these pieces. Now, one thing with these pieces that are from Celebration, they are thinner. You could also use um, shimmery white, but I just use regular basic white on there. You don't want to saturate this that much. Oops, that didn't get in there. So what you're going to see now is the stripes coming up, but there's another really neat sort of thing that's happening on this paper when you do this. Oh my goodness, look at this. Is there's splotches that go on there. So let me just come back in with my paper towel. And I'm just going to wipe this off. And like I say, it's pretty, um, it's pretty light paper. So you will definitely want to back it onto something else. Um, but see how pretty that looks with that. And then of course, if we go ahead and then we do it with the polka dots and of course a different look altogether with, with silver and with the um, gold elements that are on here. Let's stick that into that Bermuda Bay part there. Wow, that's going to be pretty. I can say very subtle, but very pretty. This would be, make such a pretty birthday card. I mean, baby card. All right, so let's just put that there. Just going to rub this off and then you'll see the difference on there. Whoops. Oh my goodness. So see how different that looks on there. All right. So I'm actually going to take this part off and let's just clean off that spatula. And I'm just going to maybe what we should do is get rid of some of this here. And I want to show you oops, how now, you got to be careful when you mix your colors that they don't muddy, right? Because you don't want them to go and get muddy in on themselves. But you wait till you see some of these beautiful color combinations that I have got, I've got going for me here. Okay. Now, what goes so pretty with this is Daffodil Delight. So I'm just going to put in a tiny bit of Daffodil Delight in there. Well, it worked good this afternoon, so let's see how this will work. There we go. And then let's just take another piece of paper. I won't have any for the inside, but that's okay. And then, but you can see how you can start changing that completely, right? So now what I could do is I could go against the grain. I know, right? And it looks so pretty on the gold. So let me just take this off. Like I say, I've got a real mess going for me here, but they're just going to go straight into a garbage bag. But look at that. Like, it's just amazing. So with them being with that paper, it just shows you that you can do other things with that paper as well. But see, isn't that pretty? I know it kind of look, maybe looks a little different on camera, but boy, I tell you, up close, it's really pretty. Okay, 
So let's show you some of these other ones. I just want to get this stuff out of the way before I end up with it all over the place. Probably would have been better to do it on proper dinner plates. But, all right, so we have that. So like I say, um, done on that, that um, celebration paper. This is done um, polished pink, Bermuda Bay, and Daffodil Delight. Actually, what would have been really nice with this might have been so saffron. This is just Bermuda Bay and polished pink. This is done with that striped paper and see how it goes modelly. And then let me bring in some other ones that are pretty amazing colours. So you can tell I did lots of playing. So this was done with a polished pink and I think an evening evergreen. Check this out. Evening evergreen and polished pinks with the silver polka dots. This is polished pink and evening evergreen. Obviously, I was working an awful lot like that. See, there's the first one. I really like this one. There's in that celebration paper. This is Poppy Parade and Daffodil Delight. Um, it's Bermuda Bay. And this is Evening Evergreen with the polished pink. And then this one's um, Poppy Parade and Daffodil Delight. And then this one is Poppy Parade, Daffodil Delight, and um, Bermuda Bay. I really like this one. This one's very pretty too. So we've got all those colors to choose from. Oh, look at that. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take one that's like this. And let's make a card out of there. Just think of all the different things. Now, you could also turn around and you could um, stamp out with different things on there. So, but lots of fun, right? L lots and lots of mess, so. All right, so I think at this point I can take these gloves off. And like I say, I'll just dispose of all that and we can get going on our card. All right, so like I say, I am going to use, we are going to use Polished pink. I obviously got some um, shaving cream on it. Five and a half by eight and a half. Scored at four and a quarter. Let's go in and just use our bone folder. You know, it, it's amazing the colors. And you just have to get more creative. Like, just take the chance and just do it. Now, this is using that one. And I'm going to have to probably cut this down. Now, there's something else that's a little interesting about this. Is that I use the thick um, basic white and I kind of like it kind of does a little bit different of a color with it so I'm wondering if maybe that might be a good suggestion to use like I say you can use lots of different um, colors with this I'm actually just going to Oops, three and three quarters by five. So I kind of used my insides for all the different experiments that we were doing, but all right, so doesn't that look pretty? Oh my goodness. Oh, nice. Oh, you must be Sandra. She's <laughs> from Hornby Island. Anyway, so we have that. Now I've got, like I say, we could turn around, we could could have used these ones. But let's see what this one would have looked like with, that, with the gold. So that would have been pretty too. That would have been quite subtle. This one has more pink in it. So let's go ahead and do that. I use my stylus shapes and I've just cut out some circles and I've cut out some banners. And I am thinking that I'm probably going to need, let's see if that woohoo would fit on there. And I'm probably going to be upset with myself that I didn't put this on the Stamparatus. Let's see if this will work anyways. You know me, I like to wing things. So This will be a lot of fun, this set, to be able to do. So, 
don't know. Yeah, it's going to fit on there. So hopefully, and I should come in with my paper piecing mat, but I'm going to just use my silicone mat for now. And let's hope that we've got this good and inked up. I'm just going to use my memento. Yeah, the Stamparatus would have been great for this. I could just get grab it. Hmm. I'm going to be mad at myself if I don't. So I'm just going to bring in the Stamparatus. Let's put our mat underneath. I think we'd be best to use the Stamparatus on this part here. Whoops. So let's go ahead and put all these cut out here. All right. Let's just stick that on our Stamparatus. our banner in there. I have to line that. Well, you know what? I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to come in with some repositional tape. Just line that up there. And then I'm going to come in with my woohoo. Place it on there. Now that's not going to work. We'll see how that's going to work. I always find that when you use a brand new um, photopolymer stamp, that it sticks. So just looking for my Chucky and I don't see it. We're going to see if we can get that in that spot. Oh, here's my Chucky. So if you ever want to know how to make a Chucky, just go under my YouTube channel and just write in C-H-U-C-K-I-E. Almost. It's going to work. Um, and I'll show you how to make, I, I have a video there that just shows you quickly how to make your own. Uh, yeah. As soon as she said Hornby Island, I went, okay, Hornby Island. And then I said, Sandra, you know, it's all good. Um, if you actually watch off my page, it is already given permission there. Um, if you watch off of YouTube, it also gives permission. So it's all good. I go back and I check to see who they are. Okay, so that is going to work like that. A little bit of detour, but we're good. Okay, so now let's go and let's start thinking about putting this together. So I'm just going to put my glue on. And I'm going to leave the whole piece. Like I could do strips using the, um, the um, shaving cream. Um, I had done this actually with my group on a free online class, actually. Let's put this on there. It's definitely going to be a girl's card. So I guess I'll use the ballerina on this particular one. Now, this is thick, so I want quite a bit of glue on there. Just like that. Is that not pretty? Oh, my goodness. Oh, you know, Margaret, I heard that I was talking to somebody from Australia yesterday um, from Sydney. And she said, yes, it's just pouring. She lives in an apartment, so she doesn't have that, that problem of, um, of flooding. But I would be quite concerned. This would have been good done also in Bermuda Bay. Okay, so I have, I'm thinking I'm going to use this hippo. Should I do a couple of hippos? I'm wondering. 
should I do? Yeah, let's do that. It's all good, right? So I'm just going to come in and the best colors to color your hippo, um, like I said the other day, is um, to use gray granite. Gray granite works great for the hippos. And a bit of crumb cake would work as well. Now, another hint that I give, um, I always, before I color, I cut my um, dyes out. And the reason I do that is because if you're going to take all the time to do all the blending and everything that you want to do with your, um, your card, and then you go to cut it out and then it shifts on you when it cuts out, it really is frustrating. So you have to start all over and re. Okay. Let's see, I cut a little bit in there. I'm just going to come in. I don't know if anyone's ever really shown you what to do with uh, the, the lifter. But if you get a color outside the lines there, come from this end here and push it back down into the color. There we go. So, and of course we better do a petal pink flower on that guy. And I thought of something silly, but I don't think I will. I'll just do a toes like that and come back in and just do this flower. Now, one thing that I did do the other day was I came in with my light flirty flamingo and I gave them all little bits. I'm going to use this guy here as well. And I gave them kind of cheeks with, um, and what I'm going to do with this then is come in with my blender or my lifter. And I'm just going to just saturate that a little bit. And that's just going to give it kind of that rosy cheeks look. Is that pink going to be okay? Yeah, we're going to make it work. I'm going to go in and just put a bit more polished pink on her dress. Now, you see what I've done is I kind of came in with um, some gray, but I'm going to make her skirt a little darker. There we go. And let's just finish doing this guy up. Um, such a small image, it I don't spend too much time coloring with it. Um, just remember to blend. Don't just let the um, ink sit there. So if I do go in and put some dark on there, that I'm going to actually go and blend it in because there's no point in using your blends without blending it. So all, all I blend is with circular motions. So it just takes that line off. And then of course you also wanna leave some white in there too, right? And let's just put the dark on the but it looks kind of cute with the little, um, with the rosy cheeks. Okay. All right. So now we can start putting this card together. So think of it this way, that we could have used this part. This would have been kind of pretty, really kind of different to do it. We could have gone and I could have, using these colors, I could have just done a strip down the side like I say so many different possibilities and not one thing is the same yeah you know like I say it's an old old technique it's so old okay so I'm just actually going to go and let's put this on 
I'm going to just put it off to the, no, I think I better put it there. I'm going to put this one off down here a bit. And I'm going to glue that on too, because I'm going to pop up the, the um, hippos. This definitely can go up here with dimensionals. The hippos, they're so cute. They always seem to come out with one, like they had the sheep, you know, that sort of stuff. So, yeah, there's some really, no word of, like that is just not. Well, we'll come in with this. Take your pick. All right. Let's take this one off. This works nice. So really, technically, we could have used three different um, celebration products on here. Um, but at least I've shown you how to use. Let's get this one. We're going to put this guy up here. And we're going to put her down there. Whoa. <laughs> Oh my goodness. We're going to pop that one up twice. And of course, we're going to have to put some embellishments on here too. I didn't get those out. Oh, the goats. Yes, they had the goats, didn't they? Um, what was the other one that they had? One thing goes to another. Oh, and you know what? The other cute thing is, and I don't think I've got it here now, I had actually gone to cut out, and I did cut out the little umbrella that is, um, and I did it in polished pink, but I bet, nope, I had it in my package. But does that surprise me? No. I could do it in the this is like what the little umbrella. Oh, it's got snorkel. It's got bubbles. It's got glasses, like intelligent glasses to put on them. I haven't even done, used any of those. Let's see. It works better. And you know what? I'm just going to take it and I'm just going to go ahead and do it. So there's the... Hmm. Where is the umbrella? Hmm. I hope I haven't lost that little umbrella. Okay, so I wanted to cut. There's the umbrella. Let's go ahead and do that. Might as well. So I'm just going to come in with my polished pink and my little cut and emboss. So don't forget that this technique will be downloaded tomorrow in the group. The um, link is down below um, for the Facebook group that um, the tutorial will be put. I'll bring it back out in just a second here. And um, so, see, this is just going to go like this. No, it's going to go right there. Fun. I'm going to lose that if I don't put that away. So, let's just put that like so. And as far as the embellishments go, I'm thinking okay, have a couple of choices, and this might be the route to go. There's these opal rounds that are in the polished pink. This won't work. This won't work. Iridescent rhinestones would work. Let's go ahead and use these. I wonder what that would look like. No. Okay. So I just put 
with this. There we go. There's our there's our card. <laughs> Using the shaving cream technique. So giving us a really interesting background. Um, like I say, you're going to get, um, you can print this out. I will have a sample of this card. And I'll also have the measurements of this card that's on here. The chicken and the ladybug, exactly. Darling donkeys, yes, that's another one. Um, anyways, the measurements are going to be here. It'll also tell you what stamp sets that I've used. Make sure that what you do is when you go and you make a sample of this, is that you go ahead and put your sample in a piece there. And then I suggested that you attach one of those, um, you could put this into a sleeve, um, put it into a three ring binder, you could put it into those sleeves and put your card onto the back that gives you an idea with the card. Um, what else could you do? Yeah, so there's that. Like I say, check out these beautiful designs. I, I have an idea. I, I really, I have an idea with what I'm going to do with one of these oh my goodness and this oh i really like it with the that gold in there so that's that celebration item that may have been missed this one's kind of fun and funky but yeah and like i say the first time you do it through i think that works the best it gives a really neat sort of technique so i'm going to play and do a few cards doing those be kind of fun to do all right. What else do I have to say? Um, well, thank you. It was fun. It, it, you know, I, um, yeah. If you like it, give me the thumbs up. Make sure that you do share my video. Um, you could share from my Facebook group. I mean, my Facebook page, or you can share from my YouTube. Um, and by sharing it, that helps the algorithms. It gets more people coming to my, um, my, my station. And it just makes me want to do it more right? So um, what's happening? Oh, what's tomorrow? Tomorrow's Wednesday. It's it's my um, my mystery Wednesday. It's my different type of a mystery. Um, oh, thank you. Um, the one, um, the mystery is um, not my typical mystery that I used to do. It is now a mystery where I pick three items. And that just lets you go into your craft room pick out those items and make something with it. The whole purpose of um, me um, doing these videos and everything is not for you to basically do exactly what I do. I want you to expand. I want you to become stampers. And, and I think I've done that quite well over um, the COVID sort of thing. I love to see what your creations are. Everybody has so much creation, so much um, creativity in, in them that they're, they're sometimes so afraid to even... Um, um, do anything with it. Then on Thursday is my Now What series. I'm going to be doing that a little bit earlier um, just because of family commitments. Um, but I'll let you know tomorrow and it'll probably be a couple of hours earlier than what I normally would do on that. So you guys have a great day. Um, I can't wait to see. Post your post your cards. I would love to see your cards made with this this technique, um, and have fun with it. Wear rubber gloves, but have a lot of fun with it. Anyways, have a great day. Bye for now. Remember to create because it's great for the soul. <laughs>